Tommy here again. I want to do a quick little intro to uh, what I hope to be a simple and fairly short video. I uh, made this little star. I want to do that again and show you uh, how I did it. That's made out of each of those pieces is cut separately. So what I did was I used this very board right here. What this is, I made a, uh, a rocking chair and the rocker and the well, part of the legs had to be a specific thickness and I didn't have uh, uh, yeah, it was thinner than stock woods and I didn't have a, a planer to plane it down to the proper thickness so I resawed it with a hand saw and planed it down by hand and this is what I, I sawed off and, uh, and I planed it down fairly smooth with my hand plane and it's about a quarter inch thick. As you can see, it's got the rounded edge. Uh, this was like a one before. <clears throat> so, what I'm going to do with this, uh, I've got this pattern, and I'm going to cut two pieces the size of that pattern that, that will fit on. And then I'm going to stain one of them. As you can see, i got a dark and a light section. I'm going to stain one of them and stack them, and then mount this pattern on it. And then I'm going to cut this pattern and cut each one of those. And this is this is what I call segmentation. After I cut them apart, then I'm going to flip uh, the dark and the white halves, and I'll have an image like this, and then a, then a mirror image of that. So that's what I'm going to call segmentation. Uh, segmentation and intarsia are two techniques that are used in uh, scroll saw work that is very similar uh, to make a quick definition of it. Segmentation is when you cut the pieces out of the same board or same type of wood at least and cut different pieces and glue them together like a jigsaw puzzle. In intarsia you would do the same thing except you could use different uh, types of wood with different colors uh, whatever to uh, glue together to make whatever kind of object you want. It could be a, a, a portrait or a an image of a fish or an animal or, or even a scene of some sort. You can do all kinds of things with intarsia and you can even uh, take individual pieces and round them, make it look 3D. Uh, I've never done any intarsia. This is as close as I've come. But I call this segmentation. I'm taking different pieces that I could and put them together. But in this case I'm stacking uh, plain wood and stained wood and then switching out the two, two halves to make an image like that and that's that's what I call segmentation that's just one version of segmentation so anyway I'm going to set this up and we'll cut this to fit uh, stain one of them and then once that stain is, is dry enough I'll stack them together and mount the pattern and we'll be at the scroll saw and I'll, I'll cut that out and show you how to set it aside so you make sure you get everything right so I'll see you in just a little bit so here I just wanted to show you real quick, I've got these pieces cut, uh, they match in the same size, makes it easier to stack properly, <clears throat> and I'm going to uh, stack them, and I'm going to put uh, this pattern on there, I'm going to tape that up like I do all my patterns, and put that on, and then I'm just going to cut those segments out, and I'll, I'll, get, I'll show you that when we get to the scroll saw, that'll be the next step. Well, here we are at the scroll saw. I have mounted this pattern. Uh, stacked the two pieces. Bottom one is the, the stained one. This is a soft wood. It's not going to be hard to cut. I've got a number one blade. I'll check, check, the, check the blade because the last time I, uh, last thing I did was a, an inset. And I had a little bit of angle, but it looks like I might need to straighten it just a little bit. That looks good enough. Tighten it down. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut each of these sections out right here. And I'm going to take them, I'm going to set them back here and keep them in order so that uh, I'll know where each one belongs. It's not super critical that you do that, but I like to keep the, the sections together that were cut together so they will match a little better. Uh, if you cut 
the same everywhere, it wouldn't matter, but it's not possible to be absolutely the same on every cut. The goal is to make them all as similar as you can, but uh, anyway, here we go. I'm going to cut each one of these sections out, and then I'm going to set them on the back uh, in the order that they come out and try to keep them all aligned the way that I made them. Okay, I've got the first one cut. Try to keep those together the way they came out. Set them up there and I'll try to keep the same orientation for each set. I'm trying to keep them together the way that they came out. I'm lining them, up, lining them up back there out of the way. The tape on the back won't interfere with me a little bit, but I'll just have to work around it. Try to keep each one of those points in the right orientation. All right, so there we got them cut out. Get that tape off there, it's trying to hold me off. And I've kept them oriented as they came off. Try to have the right piece in the right place. Basically something like that. What we're going to do now, I'm going to take them over to take all this, keep it together, and take it over to my workbench and uh, mix and match them for two separate stars and get the pattern off of them. And then we'll see about gluing them together. So now I've got it on the table. I've removed all the pattern and the tape. And uh, as you can see, you can use the the uh, wood grain as a verification that you have it in the orientation that you cut it out. So I'm going to lift off the top one and set it over here separately. Just kind of generally put it in order. So that's That's the way they go together right there. So what I want to do is I want to get it to look like this. So you take, so you take that one out and replace that right there. And do the same over here. Just do that all the way around.
the main thing is to keep the the same point more or less in the same uh, position in relation to the other points that way you will have the the cuts match each other it may not matter completely you could probably do it without them matching it just makes it a little tighter and a little better so anyway there's your two stars mirror images of each other Now, like this one now, I just glued it up just like it is. Uh, you could do that separately like that, or you could put that on a backing piece if you wish. Uh, it would glue a little better if you did that, but this works fine. I just glued these joints, uh, all, all three joints on each half a tip there. So uh, let me get everything lined out. I'll get some glue over here, and we'll start putting them together. I've got my glue set up. I've got me a little piece of stuff here. It's an old uh, coffee uh, package. It was, coffee was shipped in. Uh, glue won't stick to that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take each one of these little points. I've got these set out the way they came. And uh, I'm going to glue these, each of these together separately and let them set. And then I'll glue it all together at once. And I'm going to do these without a backing. I'm going to try to put a something in the top of each one of them to hang it on a string or on a hook or whatever. But anyway, I'm going to start out by gluing these, these separate points together. So I've got me a little applicator here. I just put a little glue. It don't take much. And I just take them and rub them together like that get them lined up so I get good I want this point to be sharp on this end because that's where they all come together I want those to be lined up this end is not as critical wipe off that excess glue and I'll set them in the way that they came off so we'll speed this up so it'll go quickly Okay, so I got all those glued. They're kind of sitting in relation to where they're supposed to be with each other. Uh, to keep the alignment as close as I can, check them all, make sure everything is flat. And uh, then we'll have to let that set. That one may need a little clamp. Uh, but sometimes you may have to clamp them a little bit. So I want them to mate really well. I've got a spring in them or something. Okay. So we'll leave that one on a clamp. And when those set a little while, I'll come back and we'll glue all of those together and kind of finish the project up. Well, these have set a while, and I think they're okay to start working with now. I put a little bit of clear plastic tape on the table here, and that's where I'm going to piece them together. I don't want to accidentally glue it to my workbench. Uh, you could put these on a backing plate, uh, but I'm not going to because, uh, as I said, this wood that I'm using was a resaw board that I hand plane, so it's, the thickness is not universal all the way through, and if you put it against something flat, I might be uneven on, uneven on the top, so I'm going to uh, make sure I try to keep it even on the top. So we'll start out just by gluing these. We'll, we'll put a little glue right here. Get rid of that excess glue there. And then you put these two together just like so. Make sure you get these for this piece. Make sure your tips in the center because that's where everything meets up. If it's off a little bit out here, it's not as big a deal, but you want the center to match up. You kind of move through it quickly, so you still have room 
to uh, adjust it as you go through. And this last piece, put glue on both surfaces. And this is where we make it all line up on this last one. Just kind of look at it, make sure all those tips come together so that they look properly. Look proper. Okay, that's probably as good as I'm going to get that. I'm going to let that set a little bit. I'll glue the other one, then we'll come back and look at them when I get that done. So we're going to wrap this video up. It's just a simple little uh, video. I wanted to show a little bit about some segmentation. Uh, they're, they're finished here. I let them, let them sit on this uh, tape so it wouldn't stick to the table. And uh, this is the one I did... As the test the first time it actually turned out better than these what happened to these I left these sitting in pieces on top of the, this bench over the weekend and the cats came up and scattered the pieces and so I didn't have a match back perfectly it still worked I just didn't get as tight a uh, finish as I did with this that's why I believe in keeping the pieces in the place they came from you don't absolutely have to it still works it still looks okay but uh, you can tell this one's a little tighter it doesn't have a, any gap in here where these do have a little bit. Not the end of the world, but not the, my best finished product. Anyway, uh, next videos I'm going to get back into uh, some boxes. And if not the next video, but the one after, I have another little project I want to experiment with in my next video. And it may turn out to be several experiments. But uh, I just wanted to show this segmentation because I was sitting looking at a picture of a star and thought well I could I could do something with that so uh, I've told you the difference between segmentation and and in charge of I call this segmentation it's just putting these pieces back together from different boards although it's the same material anyway uh, segmentation is not always stacked the way I did this one sometimes it's just getting pieces out of different places of the same board or different boards that will fit together. Uh, this one's a little bit different take on that, but I hope you enjoyed that. It was a simple little technique that I kind of made up myself uh, for that stacking and putting together of two different boards, or two different colors at least. So if you like what I'm doing, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button on this one. And notification bell so you'll know I'll try to put a video out once a week sometimes I, I do better than that but uh, we'll see how we do with the next one and uh, I'll say I got a little experiment I'm gonna want to try and uh, we'll, we'll see how that works out I want to get back to some box making so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video